Hey guys, we're here, and today I'm gonna be talking about my Type 5 classes designed by Zerodo. And without further ado, let's get started. Alright, the fifth one is the Evolve Pumpkin Lord class. And what I like about it is that it's a redesigned class of the original Pumpkin Lord class. It has some good damage output by this bit skill and if you do a combo with these two, you can also put a, a great deal of combos. Um, it's great in PvP, so it's considered an OP class. And I think he could have done better, but in his class guy said he was sick, so so maybe if he wasn't sick, there would be something better on it. But yeah, I like that you get a constant damage output with this fine whip. Even so, yeah, you cannot miss, but you can cannot crit. So yeah, always have a damage going. And let's go to the next class. The fourth one is the Artifact Hunter. And before I forget to say this, uh, I'm just doing a brief review on each class. And then the overall at the end. So if these seems a bit rushed, well, it's kind of supposed to be it. So what I like about this class is that it has a reflex skill. But I just like that um, it has a limit, but can't do nothing about that. Um, it's similar to Car Clasher in a way, but with this skill, it's kind of like Car Clasher since they're doing damage or magic. Well, not damage, it's just like you heal yourself and then you do damage. And it's somewhat good at. Um, at soloing bosses because you always have a 50% chance with the skill and it's great at PvP most people just um, spam this skill and this skill and then this skill don't really consider it a DOT at all uh, my opinion on this is that it's well designed it's well balanced so that it's not too OP in PvP or PvE. But I do think he could have done better with the survivability on this class. Alright, next to uh, next to the class. The next class, I mean. Alright, the third spot on this class guy is Chiromancer. Uh, most people dislike it because of the mana, but I found my way around it. It has like good damage output, and you can um, loop the heal, so you can have a constant heal going, surviving a battle, and then there's stun, and then you have these two combos you can do while you heal up. And my overall opinion on this is that it's a very powerful class, but there's a limit on how powerful it is. And I like that he's trying to do something different. Instead of using a magic type of getting mana back, he did fighter. So that makes it like a tiny challenge for people. But I'll find my way around it, and it can sell pretty well. If you play your cards right, I even did a video on a, on this class soloing all the 13 Lords of Chaos. So yeah, next class. Alright, this time is Blaze Binder in the second spot. So, 
the it has some good damage output by the fit skill and a DOT which is, is um which is appropriate for this class because it uses fire for its damage and like physical damage that normal class it does. So like that he did DOT to it and it's a tier 2 class so it's a powerful than an average class. And I like this fourth skill because the, the tier 1 class, Pyromancer, it was great and all but the uh, heal wasn't that great and even though it had like a reflect but the heal didn't compensate for the whole battle. But overall I like that he has a stun, damage and using the OT for its for its um, main damage output. It's a greatly designed class. I wouldn't be able to come up with it. And so on, the next class. And the first place when no doubt, Legion Doom Knight. I really like that it has a great way of surviving through a boss battle with this skill and then it's constant heal that heals around 700 at least for me so it's great at soloing even has a DRT for a few seconds so you would be doing damage even though you're defending your party or whatever uh, it does pretty well against all bosses and except um, like Tiberius, it has some trouble with it. I mean, TV seen this, I mean, yeah. But other than that, it's a great solar and glass, um, a good survivability, keeping the class healthy. And I really like he's trying to to combine the Legion and Doom Knight together. Alright, we're in the final segment where I just talk about how we design each class. Um, Zeraldo is very... Uh, with no surprises. He really likes the magic type of feel to it. And... And does a pretty... He keeps the theme true to itself. For example, Blaze Binder is... Um, Damage should be DOT since he uses fire and those types. And he likes the. I don't know if he really likes it, but I see that survivability is. survivability and purpose should be true to itself. Like, um, Legion Doom Knight should be for soloing and Blaze Binders for farming. And I guess. Some of the some of these classes could be for support, like if all pumpkin lower class. And it's really well designed for each each class he designs. I enjoy that um, he he really thinks of some parodies like fire in your skin. It's from Hellfire from the movie Notre Dame. I believe. But other than that, it's all these classes are really thought out and specifically for its purpose. And if you want me to do another video on another class designer, like for example, Sync or Dage, uh, I'll try to do it. Without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.